hi everyone welcome to key to blogging and in this video i will show you how you can create a file upload form in your wordpress website so suppose you want your visitors to send a file to your email box then you can do that by adding a file upload form and you can also do that for free using a plugin called forminator so let me just show you how you can do that so for this let me just go to the dashboard and here in the plugin section let me just click on add new now you can search for Forminator and here you will see this plugin Forminator contact form, payment form and custom form builder by WPMU Dev. So you need to install this plugin and by the way if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and do subscribe our channel. So the plugin is installed let me just activate this plugin. Ok now the plugin is activated. Let me just go to the settings here or you can just click on Forminator icon here. This is how the dashboard looks like and here you can see that you can create forms poll. So let's create a form here. So I will click on create button here and here you can see that you can select different options like blank, contact us, newsletter, login, registration. So let's click on contact us here and let's click on continue. Now let's quickly name it like contact form and let's click on create ok now let's uh, add change some value and here as you can see that there is first name email address phone number and message so if you don't want any field then you can just simply click on settings and you can delete this section now let's add the file upload section so i will click on insert field here and here as you can see that you can add variety of section including the file upload one. So let's click on file upload here and let's click on install feed. Now here you can add a description or you can select type. So whether you want to add a single upload option or you can allow you just to upload multiple files then you can select multiple here. Now let's click on settings here and here you can set it as optional or required so if um, file upload is mandatory then you can set it as required and you can also specify the selected file type category so here let's click on here now i don't want all document and i can just simply select docx doc and i can select something like pdf and i can uh, exclude all other file type and I don't want to upload all file type and I can simply select mp3 here and I don't want my visitors to send video files so I can dis deselect this one and I can also select the image one so let's deselect images here so let's scroll down here and here as you can see that you can set the limit on the file upload size so by default it is set to 8 MB so let's change it to something like 2 mb so user can upload file above 2 mb and here there is an option show files in media library so whenever someone upload a file it will upload it to your media library and if you don't want that then keep it as disable and if you want to store those files in your wordpress dashboard then you can also click on enable here otherwise this file will go to your email box so i will click on enable here now let's click on apply here and as you can see the file upload section is added here now you can also add more sections like add calculator select date picker and you can add html or you can add e-signature but this one is a pro feature you can also add paypal stripe here so let's close this one now let's publish our contact form before that you need to change one more settings here click on email notification here and here you can select the admin email here and let's click on edit here now let me just scroll down and let's click on recipient here and here you can change your email address so let me just change a email address like this so all email will be gone to this email address now let's click on advance here and here in this reply to email field you can click on plus here and let's click on email address so that whenever you click on the reply button in email it will be replied to the customer email address now let's click on add here now let's publish our contact form here so let's publish here 
now you can just copy this short code and paste it anywhere in your wordpress website so let's close here now let's go to the pages here now let me just go to the contact page here now let me just delete the existing form form from here so let's remove the form here now let's add the short code here like this and as you can see the file upload form is ready and here user can enter name email address phone number message and select the upload file option and send you the message so let's update this contact form here now let's visit this page and as you can see the form is added in our wordpress website so let me just quickly fill out this form okay i have added all the information here now let's click on choose file here and then i can select a pdf file here let's click on open here and as you can see the pdf file is added here now let's click on send message here and it is showing that the form is submitting and as you can see that thank you for contacting us we will be in, we will be in touch shortly so let's go to the email box and check if the file is delivered to your email box or not so let me just go to the email address and here as you can see that the email is come to our email box from kitu blogging and let's click on here and here as you can see that it has filled the first name email address phone number message and the upload file and you, here you can download that pdf file and or view this pdf file so this is how the um, contact form work and you can change different value let's go to the dashboard again now let's go to the formulator here and click on forms here now let's click on edit here now you can change different options like you can change the appearance of the form you can change design style change color fonts form container and here you can change the behavior of the form and you can pay reload the page or you can redirect the page to other pages once the user fill out the form or you can enable auto fill option and here you can enable honey pot protection in contact form and here you can see different options here now let's click on email notification and here you can add multiple email address so if someone fill out the form then it will gone to multiple email address then you can also do that by clicking on this add email news add email notification button and you can also integrate different application in your form like mailchimp or something like that and let's click on settings here and here you can select the data storage option and here you can see set the privacy options here so now let's go to the media file here so let's click on here and as you can see that the pdf is already added in our media file so in this way the file upload form works in wordpress and if you have any doubt regarding this file upload form in wordpress then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button I will see you in the next video. Thank you.